Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers, and my dear friends. Today we're going to start a completely new meditation about the way to love meditations for life. And the author is DeMello Anthony. He was a Jesuit priest. And take each one of these meditations and carry them with you throughout your day. Challenge his ideas, move over his thoughts, and then be silent. You will notice an effortless transformation taking place in your heart. The awakening experience of insight, the wonderful peace you experience when you gaze at the stars or watch a beautiful sunrise or glimpses a soft look of love in the eyes of your beloved. This is the effect this spiritual gems will have. All you need bring them all you need bring to them is a full heart and an inquiring mind. Our first meditation is profit and loss. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and profits his life? Matthew 16, verse 26. Recall the kind of feeling you have when someone praises you. When you are approved, accepted, applauded. And contrast that with the kind of feeling that arises within you when you look at the sunset of the sunrise or nature in general or when you read a book or watch a movie that you thoroughly enjoy. Get the taste of this feeling and contrast it with the first, namely the one that was generated within you when you were praised. Understand that the first type of feeling comes from self-glorification, self-promotion. It is a worldly feeling. The second comes from self-fulfillment, a soul feeling. Here is another contrast. Recall the kind of feeling you have when you succeed when you have made it, when you get to the top, when you win a game or a bet or an argument, and contrast it with the kind of feeling you get when you really enjoy the job you are doing. You are absorbed in the action that you are currently engaged in. And once again, notice the qualitative differences between the worldly feeling and the soul feeling. Yet, another contrast. Remember what you felt like when you had power. You were the boss. People looked up to you took order from you or when you were popular and contrast that worldly feeling with the feeling of the intimacy companionship the times you thoroughly enjoyed yourself in the company of a friend or with a group in which there was fun and laughter
having done this, attempt to understand the true nature of worldly feelings, namely, the feelings of self-promotion, self-glorification. They are not natural. They were invented by your society and your culture to make you productive and to make you controllable. These feelings do not produce the nourishment and happiness that is produced when one contemplates nature or enjoys the company of one's friend or one's work. They were meant to produce thrills, excitement and emptiness. Then observe yourself in the course of a day or a week and think how many actions of yours are performed. How many activities engaged in that are uncontaminated by the desire for these thrills, these excitements that only produce emptiness. The desire for attention, approval, fame, popularity, success, or power. And take a look at the people around you. Is there a single one of them who has not become addicted to these worldly feelings? A single one who is not controlled by them, hungers for them, spends every minute of his, her waking life consciously or unconsciously seeking them. When you see this, you will understand how people attempt to gain the world and, in the process, lose their soul. For they live empty, soulless lives. And here is a parable of life for you to ponder on. A group of tourists sit in a bus that is passing through gorgeously beautiful country lakes and mountains and green fields and rivers. But the shades of the bus are pulled down. They do not have the slightest idea of what lies beyond the windows of the bus. And all the time of their journey is spent in squabbling over who will have the seat of honor in the bus. Who will be applauded, who will be well considered. And so they remain till the journeys end. My dear ones, try to do. What I start saying to you, take this with you every day. Think about it, pray over it, and see where you are. For what will it profit a man? if he gains the whole world and profits his life. May the Holy Spirit fill you with insight in the deepest part of your soul that he will bring you to the awareness and then you 
your full conscience. The way you walk. And look at yourself, the desires you have. May God be with you in every step you walk. And may He bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And peace be with you. This is your Pastor Yeti. Blessings to all of you. Bye.